What up guys? I'm at a city called Rawai and this is actually my favorite area in all of Phuket and I'm gonna take you to three places today one uh, Promtep Cape and two the windmill viewpoint and three Naihan Beach right now we are at Promtep Cape so let's check it out Let's walk down there. It's like a dance, the way that you shake your head in full denial you love the truth. To say it loud, there's some great views here. Pushing down, disavow when he was knocking on your door. We're almost there. So hot, but let's continue. This is far from the end. You're gonna be back for more. to the bitter end and it's on repeat echo loop ooh, ooh. wanna cut it out the tide is turning back at you when you were snacking on your I have never figured out why people are doing this with the rocks I've seen it many places in Thailand but I have no idea why people are doing it so if you know Please leave a comment down below. Thank you. I made it, guys. This is the end. back up now and I'm so sweaty there's actually a temple here as well so let's go and check that out too okay so it's not a temple it's just a lighthouse but Kinda looks like a temple, no? Promtep Cape is one of the most beautiful places to watch the sunset. It's also one of the most popular tourist spots on this island. So if you come in high season, get ready for a big crowd. Like you can see now, it's already a lot of people. Okay, prom tip cape done. Let's drive to windmill viewpoint. I have a 
arrived at windmill viewpoint. that you can see down there it's called uh, Aosan Beach and it's located between this place and Promptake Cape that's over that hill okay now let's drive to Naihan Beach I'm at Naihan beach now and this is actually one of my favorite beaches in Phuket but before we go down to the beach I'm gonna go buy some pineapple and water Hello. We have the, uh, pineapple Saparot? Sap uh, Saparot mm, And one water? One Yes Cut? Uh, yes, thank you Wow! <laughs> <laughs> And John. And Yep. 50 baht for pineapple and a small water. Now let's go to the beach. These are so good, so fresh. I love to come to the beach and just hang out, but it's rainy season now, so it almost rains every day. That's why I haven't done so many videos of the beaches here in Phuket. But today, it's pretty nice. I should probably mention that in the start of November, I'm gonna move to Gopangyang. I'm getting a little bit tired of Phuket. It's just too busy for me here. Now don't get me wrong, I love Phuket, there's a reason why I have spent most of my time here but I have just seen and done everything there is to do here, you know? I spent all together about one and a half year here. Now I just want to stay on a small quiet island where I can stay right on the beach, wake up in the morning and jump straight into the ocean. So Copenhagen it is and I already found a small house right on the beach. It's a two-bedroom house for 12,000 baht per month. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's watch the sunset. 